good way to start a video. <laughs> yeah, it's perfect. This is life in Newburgh. I'm gonna have to do hard subs for this scene too. Yeah, that's gonna be great. This uh, does this game actually have subtitles? It does, but they're not enabled. Well, I enabled them on the other playthrough, but so you and Trent just dropped the ball. Yep. Great. Playthrough over. Let's just quit. Let's just call it a day. You should probably explain what the hell's going on. People are probably very confused that I'm not Trent. Oh yeah. Well. uh... We're kind of picking up the Saints Row 2 playthrough uh, um, after the first couple videos. Trent enjoyed playing Saints Row 2 so much that he actually went and joined a real gang. I haven't seen him in months, but the last time I saw him, he said something about how I'm a bitch-ass nigga and uh, I can't step to his game. So, I don't know what's up with that. So, I'm here to fill in for Trent for the rest of this playthrough. And I could already see that you are now some sort of a leprechaun. <laughs> well, different of the 900-pound um, neon-bearded man that you were before. Yeah, I'm an Asian leprechaun. <laughs> I didn't even realize he was Asian. That's great. <laughs> oh, he's Asian as fuck. This is like a Guy Ritchie wet dream. I think this song was actually in Rock and Rolla. Well, then, see, everything comes full circle. It just works. No, I'm actually not as familiar with the Saints Row series as you and Trent, so this is going to be a great learning experience for me. Yeah, I'm not really too familiar with Saints Row 1, but the other ones I got you. Yeah, I played uh, I played mostly the first one. Also, I, yeah, I got <laughs> completely murdered trying to uh, get to that mission. Those anime, those anime bikes. <laughs> are, are, are all the bikes in the game actually named after anime people? Or all, is it just conveniently this one and the other one? All the Kawasaki Ninja style bikes, like the Crotch Rockets, are, uh, yeah, they're named after uh, anime characters. You have the Kenshin, the Tetsuo, and the uh, Kaneda. Kaneda. And I think there might be one more. But I think it's DLC. Okay, and uh, this is some sort of a drunk driving simulator. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the thing I've always loved about Saints Row were the horrible physics. I didn't like that how that guy was looking at me. <laughs> had to had to take care of him. Well, you were di you were gonna die of embarrassment from crashing the bike in front of him. So and this has the uh, the scoring from Burnout, almost the exact same thing. Yeah, I didn't notice that until you mentioned it, and that's yeah. really weird. Yeah, Burnout's not even a that's an EA thing. This is what this THQ, right? Yeah, Volition. Yeah, so the guys who made Red Faction. It's really weird. Like I, I imagine it works differently or whatever. Maybe just near miss is just a term that I'm unaware of that cars have. But a lot of it, like the, the scoring for driving in the oncoming lane and the near misses with the cars and all that. Even how the stars work. Exactly. Yeah. It, it might just be that they looked at Burnout and was like, "Wouldn't it be funny if we put this in there?" Yeah, it's possible too. Speaking of drunk driving simulator. Can you uh, can you lean back and forward on the bike like a GTA or? I don't know about forward, but you can lean back and then not be able to steer and then kill yourself. Okay, that's the best part of riding motorcycles in these types of games. So the point of this mission right now is we're trying to uh, get ga like three gang lieutenants. Sean D. Pierce and Carlos. These are characters from the first game, right? No. No, these are just new guys? Yeah. Okay, because I uh, I have a little bit of experience with the second game, mostly like as actually we've already made it further than I've made it in Saints Row Two, and uh, oh he's got the chair, he's got the damn chair, but God, and it's the Asian yeah. leprechaun with the chair, <laughs> Hornswoggle. <laughs> what you could do with this chair? <laughs> I can't remember why I picked up the chair. Why not? It's a chair. But uh, yeah, in Saints Row One, I played about halfway through the game. Before my Xbox died. I like how she fucks up closing the door, so then she closes it. Well, at least the doors actually close. Now, are you ready for some sick jumpage? Oh, of course. Crawling in the dark, looking for the answers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look how many GPS things you unlocked. <laughs> yeah, you unlock a lot of shortcuts by flying through the air and bashing into a dock. Let me tell you. It's like the worst Mountain Dew commercial ever. <laughs> so you gotta do that again now, right? Yep, which means I gotta find another car, and since I'm in the trailer park, 
cars that aren't on cinder blocks without a premium. <laughs> that's a that's a dragon made of cars. Of course. <laughs> it's cultural diversity. And a spider made out of cars. This looks a lot like Pine Bush. <laughs> it does, and that's sad. Who the fuck just walks around with an AK-47 at a trailer park? Well, when you're that fucking hard, you don't it, give no shits. Let's go hit some sick jumps. I brought my gun. Hey, look, a car made out of cars. What? <laughs> so you're just kind of wandering around right now looking for your favorite car? I'm looking for a car. Well, I mean, I see a bunch of them that are kind of passing. I decided on this minivan. Oh. Perfect, perfect thing to jump with. Oh, yeah. And then, uh... Let me just mace the car. <laughs> See you later, fucker. Oh, this is also, uh... One of the first times we've really fucked with, uh... Recording audio post. After, uh... You know, after recording the game video. It's probably good to mention that. Yeah. Um, since we are, we've had this video laying around... I actually screwed up and lost some commentary. Now we're just trying to recover and save face. Exactly. So many new and exciting things in this new world of Street Fighter 3. And this is like one of the first LPs that you actually recorded, right? Yep. Did that actually count? Yeah, that totally counted. Oh, that was man. jump. This game has better detection than Superman 64. Good times. Good times. Now, in any other car, you would actually make it onto the highway if you did that jump. In this minivan, that's not fucking happening. Well, no, the minivans are not about making sick jumps. They're about bringing the kids to soccer practice safely. So now we have to go uh, drive to a different lieutenant. I think I end up going to Pierce next. But Shanti's just in the car hanging out. As chicks are known to do when they're not brandishing assault rifles. <laughs> All the women in my life, man, they're either hanging out or they're brandishing assault rifles. I don't get it. You, oh, you gotta get a new car? Yes, okay, good. Yeah, of course. His minivans are not very thug. Although, he really wanted to go back in that minivan. You know what is thug? Oh, wait, listen to this commercial. Hi, it's your friend, Vladimir. If you love human trafficking as much as I do, you're going to need a boat. No, no, Vlad, that's illegal. <laughs> What do you mean human trafficking is illegal? How do these ugly men have wives? Uh, Vlad, let's just try and get through this. <laughs> Fine, I try again. This is Vladimir. You will come by boat and ship it, or I'll have your family killed. Yes. Someone call his agent. Ship it. Uh, man, do you recognize that voice? I do not. Who is that? It's uh, your cousin Roman from GTA 4. Oh, the my God. The dude who got God. fired. That, that's the same voice actor? Or yep, they... that's the exact same voice actor. Are they trying to pull a... Um... Like a Johnny Cage Bloodstorm kind of thing? I don't know if they're trying to Bloodstorm him or if it's just like a little Easter egg thing, but... Okay. Actually, I can't remember if it was Roman's voice actor or Nico's voice actor who got into a major dispute with uh, Rockstar over royalties or some shit. <laughs> Basically some... whining that the contract that he signed wasn't good enough because they made a bunch of money. Well, uh, voice actors always get shit deals with games and stuff. It's just to be expected. Yeah, but I mean, you sign a piece of paper, you're kind of... Yeah. As long as they honor it. So Pierce wants to go ki wants us to go kill a bunch of Ronin because he hates Weeboos. Yeah, it makes sense. I don't even like them, and I am one. <laughs> Just gonna go down to the uh, go down to the anime convention and find us some Hokage to jutsu in the shower. <laughs> hey man, you jutsu somebody in the shower, you can get ten years in anime <laughs> yeah. prison. That's what I'm saying. It's life is hard out there for the Weeboos. Thugging it up every day. Working on their max, <laughs> practicing their uh, their Dempsey rolls. I think that you're supposed to technically go down there and shoot them, but fuck that. Nah, I ain't got time. Says this game's got some great auto aim. It seems. Oh yeah. I miss that in games. Games get too serious now. Like, I miss the good old days of Doom, where you could just snipe somebody from across a map with a shotgun. It was pretty goddamn great. <laughs> Solve oh, 5 out of 10. Take it or leave it. Could be better, could be worse. This asshole was shooting me, so I decided to uh, kill him and take his bike. Whoa! <laughs> I really need to find the shit dub of Akira. Yeah. The shit dub of Akira is one of the best dubs of Akira. <laughs> da -da -da! Everyone sounds like they're from Cartoon New York. <laughs> 
There was a there was a great shit dub of Gundam also, where Bright Noah was Australian. Oh yeah. <laughs> It's like, Amaro, what do you do? I, I can't do an Australian voice. You get Amaro, out. what are you doing yeah. over there? Get in the Gundam. I'd love to Go get into the Gundam, kill them bush babies. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck a bush baby is. It's a baby in the bush. This tow truck is one of the least functional things in any game I've ever played. Tow trucks are never fun to drive in sandbox games. The tow truck missions in GTA 5 are some of the most mind-numbingly boring things ever. Oh yeah, I forgot those were a thing. Thankfully, this is the only tow truck mission in Saints Row 2. The only time I ever had fun with the tow truck missions was trying to pick up cars while they were driving. I love the classical music, too. Oh yeah, it's great. That was playing in the tow truck, I think. But... I don't think tow trucks are fun to drive in real life, so it's kind of accurate. I have never driven a tow truck in real life. Neither have I. I imagine it's not like the episode of King of the Hill where they decide that the drivers are not going to drive the propane trucks. So everybody and their mother just grabbed a tow truck and towed the propane trucks. I imagine this to be a massive pain in the ass in the real world. Oh yeah. It's a massive pain in the ass in this game, too. With this thing fish tailing. Because the car, like, it's a hearse every time. And the hearse's back wheels aren't touching the ground. Physics. I don't know if they did that on purpose because they thought it was funny or what. No, it was probably just because the hearse is a longer car. These games aren't exactly fantastically programmed. You know, they didn't have all the, uh, the other Rockstar games to work on to just slap into their product like GTA V did. Yeah, you. it's funny you mention that, because I was actually playing uh, Red Dead Redemption a bit today. Yeah. And... You noticed it, right? It's essentially Grand Theft Horse. Like, it yeah. feels exactly like GTA V. Well, they uh, they did it with Red Dead, they did it with L.A. Noir with the, uh, the facial recognition. I think it was a driving from a Midnight Club game, the police from a Need for Speed game. They just grabbed all the shit that worked and just slapped it together. A for Speed ZA, dog. No, nah, not for not an A for Speed, then. What the fuck was it, dog? Uh, what's their equivalent? Midnight Club. Was it just Midnight Club? They yeah, it's, it's just Midnight Club. Okay, then I'm stupid. But, uh, yeah, that's what happened, and... It was kind of funny, because usually I don't buy those games. But it just so happened that each of the games that I had played, I recognized immediately in GTA, and was like, Wow, I should've just waited and bought this. <laughs> <laughs> the life of a truck driver is pretty goddamn difficult, let me tell you. I don't think that would actually work with a real pickup truck. Right, Just whipping the tail of it around and throwing the car. Alright, you now have a gang of five. Yep. Excellent. Or do we? I feel like they could have picked a better color than purple. What the hell is going on? Yeah, you know, oh, that guy looks strung out. Holy shit. Do some cannon eyes. Hold up. Like, purple's a great color if you're an international terrorist organization or a giant robot from outer space that's trying to steal Energon. And everybody else, you just look like you're grape. <laughs> it, speaking of purple, interesting coincidence that everyone's wearing purple before they join. <laughs> Except for me, because I'm cool. Yo, just find your best purple clothing and just show up with a gang initiations. You're gonna be judged on your purple and how well you could take a punch. Your your gang name is Grape, and your gang name is also Grape. <laughs> that fucking guy. Are the hobos still burning in the background, or is it just random furniture? That's just random furniture. Okay. Although that will be rele relevant here shortly. Good. Revelant? That's a word. It's my new webcomic. It's gotta be them. It's about a guy that has a giant sword, and he's half demon and half angel, and he fights demons. So I was actually reading about some webcomic character that is apparently fucking up that stupid R who would win on Reddit, and it's this webcomic character who can see into the future and perfectly uh, see how to win any battle, even, even against powered opponents, and that's too convenient. basically means Mary Sue. 
Yeah, that's that's way too convenient for a well written character to have. So I kind of had a lot of faffing about here because I had to get a full respect bar to be able to play this stronghold. But oh, so this is just you skip right to it. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, the only character change I made was I bought a miner's hat. Oh yeah, because you're in the caves. That's important. yeah. You gotta protect your head. Yeah, it's union rules. OSHA's gonna come in here and shut your gang down otherwise. But uh, that's good you did that because I hate faffing around in these games. Which is funny because that's kind of what the games are made to do, but that's always the part that bores the shit out of me and makes me stop playing them. Is getting stuck fapping around instead of just getting to the missions and finishing the plot. Yeah. And I gotta figure out how much of that we're actually going to cut. I figure anything where I'm just literally grinding for experience I'll cut out, but if it has a point, oh, then I'll leave it. Look at that sword clip through his face. <laughs> These are the same homeless people. I don't know if you heard. But these homeless people were mugging tourists at the uh, caverns yes. to save up enough money to go kill our gang. <laughs> and now we're taking out their new homes. <laughs> I like the idea of a hobo gang feuding with your gang. This is basically Newburg. <laughs> like, you, you laugh and you don't know, but this is shit that really happens in Newburg. <laughs> you Newburg sounds like a desolate and terrible place. It's like Detroit, except there's actually people there. Detroit is essentially some sort of weird nature preserve at this point. I'm telling you, Google should just buy the entire city and call it a day. Rename it Delta City? Yes, just make it Delta City. Google Town, USA. Oh, Physics. the box from What's the corner. That? So I just picked a random uh, coke head to throw into these shanties. Oh, you still have to throw people into the shanties? Well, I found out uh, when I was redoing this mission today that you can just shoot the shanties with a shotgun. Which sounds like a tongue twister. <laughs> shoot the shanties with a shotgun. <laughs> Say that ten times fast. Yep. Can't pay rent, but I can sure stockpile guns. I really don't understand why these homeless people all have guns. Well, you know, they've been mucking tourists, and Every everyone in Stillwater carries a gun. Carries a gun. Yep. I think somebody hucked out a Molotov cocktail. But that's okay, because you beat the mission, so it doesn't matter. That's one of the only positive headlines for the Saints you'll ever see. Oh, nobody likes a hobo.